Dr. Paul here. We've got a good one. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi, how are you? It's good to see you again. And I hear you got something going on with your foot. So something was going on for a couple months. Mm -hmm. And ha has it been getting bigger? No. It just, boom, was like that two months ago? Uh, it's actually been, well, yesterday the top of it come, came off, but huh. it's been like it with the top for yeah. a while now. See, that there is a callus. It's kind of hard, and you can see it's sort of skin-like. That's been there, like, since I was at the old house. Yeah, this one's got that dark center and that whitishness that you'll see with warts. I'm going to go get some liquid nitrogen and be right back. Okay? All right. So, in this container here, we have the stuff. That's a good one. Okay, so at first, you're not gonna feel anything. Whoa, it's so cold. So eventually we're gonna start freezing it so it turns white. Mm, it's, uh, it's looking whiter. Much colder. You're starting to feel the coldness? Mm hmm Funny, you can hear it sizzling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. People like Carl and Ski and um, Preston do stuff like this well, with liquid nitrogen, but not to uh, patients or something. Really? Do crazy experiments. On YouTube? Yeah, or? on YouTube. Oh my goodness. Carl and Ski has a whole channel on it. Wow, you know a lot about YouTube. Mm -hmm. Maybe someday you'll have a channel. Probably not. You don't think so? When you're like a, almost a grown up. Is it starting to hurt? Yeah. It is, I'm sorry. So what we're doing is you can see the, the part that's the wart is turning all white. Mm -hmm. And what we actually need to happen is to have a little bit of your normal skin get white. Cause that means we've frozen it all the way through to the bottom. This is a big one. It's almost a half an inch in diameter. You okay? Yeah. You're brave. She's my tough girl. I had a couple of these on my toes when a long, long time ago. And there's a lot of nerve endings on the toes, let me tell you. Okay, we're just starting now to get some of the normal tissue, and I can see you're squirming a bit. You're very brave. Vanish immediately. It will just shrink away over about a month when they're... Actually, any size work, but sometimes think that maybe if they're a little bigger like this, you might have to do this one more time. Mm -hmm. Are you still okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're very brave. I'm giving you a good freeze because the better I do it this time, the better chance you don't have to come back. Very, very rarely you can get a blood blister because we're freezing so deep that it could create a little bit of blood underneath it. If that happens, don't pop it. Just leave it. Mm -hmm. It'll definitely separate. And I'm going to quit because I've tortured you enough here. <laughs> you get to dump this on the floor. On the floor? Yep, just pour it on the floor. It's really cool. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it still hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It hurts pretty bad for about 10 minutes. Okay. And then it's just going to be a little annoying to walk on for a day or two. When you do that deep of a freeze. And then we'll see you again in a month if it's not gone. Okay? Thank you. High five, you did a good job. Well, there you have it, folks. We want lots of likes, thumbs up, share. I'm Dr. Paul. Thanks for watching.